Here we have a lovely example of a 2008 BMW 118D Edition ES, three door hatchback in a dark blue. Starting with the offside front tyre, tread depth, we're looking at a good five to six millimetres of tread there. Offside front alloy does appear to be in a very nice clean condition, no curbing or any scuff marks at all, just one or two scratches. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, taking a good look down the bodywork. Um, having a good look, I cannot see any dinks or dents at all down the bodywork of the vehicle. Looking around the offside front arch, just a few light scratches that are going to require a polish. Um, a bit of a light scratch there on the mirror. Can just about get my nail into it, so it might require some paint. A couple of light scratches on the driver's door will require a polish. Again, obviously being a dark colour, it will show everything under the sun. A um, couple of nicks in the door edge there that might require some touchings. Doesn't appear to have any dinks or dents at all to the roof. Moving towards the rear arch of the vehicle. Now we have got a bit of lacquer peel as you can see located here. And also here as well. And again just a couple of light scratches on the back. Rear tyre we're looking at a good 3 to 4 mil. And looking at the rear uh, alloy. Again lovely clean condition, no curbing or any scuff marks. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. Again, looking at the boot of the car, just one or two light scratches, no signs of any damage at all. Rear parking sensors. Again, you can see you've got a little group of light scratches here. Um, again, majority should polish out, but you can see it will need a bit of paint there. It's just took the paint off a little bit. Some light scratches on the back of the tailgate here will require polish, as you can see. Apart from that though, can't spot anything else. Take a look inside the boot. You've got your parcel shelf, lovely clean condition. Book pack in there as well, which is lovely. Of course, no spare wheel with the BMW. Moving around to the near side rear tyre. And we are looking at a good five millimetres of tread there. Near side rear alloy again, spotless condition. A couple of light scratches there. Apart from that, again, very clean. Looking around to the near side of the vehicle. Um, no dinks or dents, however, if we look on the front passenger door, you can see it's had some scratches here, uh, it's had some paint, as you can see, uh, it does stand out, um, so that probably will need um, a better job doing to it, to be honest. As you can see, it's all started to peel off there, so just a group here of it's going to need some paint. And again, some light scratches to the bodywork that are going to require a polish. Mirror is in nice condition, and again, we've got some light scratches there on the front arch. Front tyre tread, we've got a good 6 mil, so plenty of tread on all four tyres, we we'll don't have to worry about those. And the near side front alloy, again, flawless condition, absolutely spotless. Moving around to the front end of the vehicle, again we've got some stone chips to the front. No signs of any damage at all. So again, just some stone chips located on the front end of the vehicle there. And again, some stone chips to the bonnet of the car. Taking a look at the interior. As you can see, we've got the full cloth interior, driver's seat looks very nice, great condition. Slight bit of wearing there to the bolster, but again, that's just age related. Um, as you can see, no signs of any damage. Take a look in the back seats, they are absolutely spotless, as you can see. Great condition, no stains or anything. And if we just flick this back, it's a little bit stiff the driver's seat. And the front passenger seat again, lovely condition. Dashboard, etc., spotless, gear sticks in good condition. And the steering wheel is not looking bad at all for its age. As you can see, got auto lights and auto wipers. Also, a parrot phone kit there. Also, got the adjusting bolsters there, which is uh, normally associated with a sport. Stepping inside the vehicle. Now, we are looking at two sets of keys. So, as it should, so two keys there. And just getting the vehicle started. As you can see, there is a service light indicating there. No other symbols appearing on the dash, and very low mileage, 48,860 miles on the clock, so very good mileage for the car's age. Again, multifunction steering wheel, nice condition. CD and radio. Again, no issues at all there, works perfectly fine. No problems with the blowers. And you've got your air conditioning there as well. Like I said, manual box. V5 on the vehicle, the car's got two owners, so two owners there. MOT until September 1st, 2015, so you won't have to worry about an MOT for a while. And we have a full service history, but it is non-franchise. So 15 there, 28. 
and the last one at 44,000 miles. Uh, mileage wise, it's not that long ago done. Uh, service light is showing, um, but just be aware of that. But we've got plenty of service history, but it is non franchise. But there we go, guys. It's the 2008 BMW 118D Edition ES. Lovely condition, uh, very low mileage. Couple of cosmetic marks on the outside, no signs of any heavy damage, and it is a spotless interior, so we don't need anything done in here. Uh, very nice looking car indeed.